Hey Sarah, how you doing? Hit the like button guys. It's finally working this time. Oh. Hiya hon. No, it's fine, don't worry. Warm. So as usual, Lon, can you show it to the um, Facebook group and obviously your channel too? All oh, the ports are up for sale. Yeah, just there guys, that's the police station, just so you know. Which I will be going to because people think it's funny and uh, basically being dicks still. So I'm going to go to the police this time and get it sorted out. Because I don't think it's right. Them sending friend requests to my 15 year old stepdaughter. Oh, let's get across the road. Oh. So, yeah, that's going to happen. Plus, I want my stuff back. It's been long enough now. So. That's the main reason that I want my stuff back. Because basically, guys, is if they destroyed the documents and all my stuff, documents mainly from the army, it's a criminal offence. Because it's illegal to get rid of anything um, to do with the MOD in the military. So, I'm looking forward to it. They think they can win and send in idiots saying that I'm cheating and flirting with people. So, yeah, I'll have the last laugh, just so you know. But anyway, that's not what this is about today. I'm heading to churches, they don't have cemeteries anymore. So, yeah, we're heading down there, and we're not far from it now. And uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we might be able to get a little bit of the paranormal, but it's more more of a explore type of thing, if that makes sense. So, yeah, it's more of an explore. But um, I'll just show you guys around a cemetery, because I've not done a cemetery for a long time. I think the last one I did was when I was in the Philippines. Yeah, we'll be going down there, guys. Okay. What that doing? Building work there. Ah. Nice house, that though. Might be abandoned. Don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Thing is, when it's well kept like that, it probably isn't abandoned. Someone's probably got it and um, gonna do it up, do all the garden and that. Which is fair enough. That's what we want, explorers. You know, we want places like that to be done up and not just left to ruin. So if we can get more people in, guys, we're nearly there now. So please like and share. All right said what I needed to say at the beginning so we're not touching on any more of that this time 
it's strictly exploring and that's it really <coughs> so yeah looking forward to it guys i know it's been a while since we uploaded on this channel this is why i'm expecting a little bit more people but so hopefully we'll get them So yeah, Thunder, what did you share it to me for? <laughs> I can't share it. <laughs> I know, I know it's shitty today, I got uh, on because of the rain. If you can't do it, you can't do it. I'll just have to deal with three people and. Uh, I'm hoping to get out with exploring with Danny as well sometime soon um, Probably next week this week coming basically so We'll be bringing something what's never been seen on this channel before and it's called Redontica so Hopefully we'll be doing something like that So uh, But uh, yeah just hoping we get more than freaking three people, you know, because I'm wasting me credit going live, guys, if we don't get three more than three people in. Because I should have kept it to a video if we're not going to get people in. That's all I'm saying. So, nice house. Huh? Lovely house, that. Huh? We have to. We have to what? Hang on. My arm was going dead, so I flipped you around. Oh. We have to what? It's bloody roasting today, guys. We've got a week long heat wave hitting the northwest this week. So it's bloody warm. I, mean, uh, I don't even know how long my batteries will last, so I've got my power banks. Uh, obviously I've got my charging cable and I brought some drinks as well otherwise I wouldn't have bothered bringing a bag but I needed to bring a drink and that so uh, we're not far now here's Rawcliffs Rawcliffs guys if you don't know is basically a monument at Mason River headstones stuff like that so basically they make headstones for grass terms Rawcliffs memorials so I'll just show you the, once we get past here here's some what they do just here it's not a graveyard but that's what they do they make them so yeah and then just here next to it is the cemetery so there's the chapel we're going to have a look in, in there if we can get in. I don't know if we can get in, but we'll have a look. But this is the cemetery, guys. So, yeah, obviously you can't see much because of the railings, but, uh, so we'll wait till we get in. But, uh, yeah, this is the cemetery, so we're in, eh? So if you haven't already done so, guys, please hit that like button and share around, okay? There's some beautiful headstones in here, guys. It's like ones of angels, and so obviously this is the front bit, guys. So that 1856, that house was built, and that was basically it's a normal house now, but that was built for basically the caretaker. I would have thought to look after the grounds. So here we go is section a it is a big cemetery guys so we're gonna have a look round but uh as you can see there's a uh, nice nice ones here you know and uh
So yeah. So yeah, there's 58 Commonwealth war graves here as well. So that's a, a lot of war graves. Um, so yeah, we might go down there actually in a minute because there's a big one there. Uh, Richard Smethurst of Chorley, Magistrate and Deputy Lieutenant for this country. Also oh, for this county, sorry. My eyes are going bad. So yeah, here's another one. A nice big one there. That'll be a family tomb, that would. So yeah, big ones like that are normally family tombs, guys. For some reason, I don't know why, I can't seem to take pictures. But here's another one, which I'll have to do on my other phone, to be honest. So, but yeah, it's a beautiful day for it, to be honest. Absolutely stunning day. Um, but I'm going to get my other phone out now. Um, and what we'll do is we'll take a couple of pictures around here. And then uh, we'll head over to that chapel over there, see if it's open for us to go in. Uh, I'm not saying that it will be, but you never know, you never know. So, we don't want to be walking on anyone's grave, so... We'll be, but look at this angel one here, guys. A stunning angel, right there. You know, it's all easier, all of them. This one's got an anchor on and... So yeah, what we'll be doing is, obviously, we'll try and do a little bit of a paranormal later on. Um, because we don't really want... ...cemetery or to the deceased, what's here. You know, we're not that type, we're not that inclined, so... Yeah. So we'll go down here now, some steps here. Oh, I'm sweating out big time. This one, this is a beautiful one, all made out of granite. You know, all made out of granite. Uh, is it granite or marble? Marble, I think it is. Yeah, wow. And this one, this is a tomb as well. So, where the edge of the um, grass is, that's basically the uh, another grave. No, sorry, that is the, that is the gr tomb, so it's all that basically and this is a lovely one, look at that 1919 was the last person who died, uh, that got buried here but, uh, check this one out, died in 1857 wow so if I'm just keeping still guys obviously please bear with us I am just taking photos as well with the other phone. So, because all the photos will be on the Instagram page. So, there you go. Anne, wife of Richard Smethurst, died in 1861. Um, Ami Amelia. Um, Smethurst, who died October 17th, 18... Uh, sorry. Yeah, October 17th, 1844, aged 18 years. And is interred in the family vault. So this is a vault, guys. It's more than a tomb. So obviously this will cover the whole way. You see the grass? That is basically the whole vault. So there would have been steps going down to that before that got put on. Obviously, like get put on um, thingy. Unless I could be wrong. Um, maybe there was some steps, but maybe there's a coffin just behind them plates there because, as you can see, they've been fitted in afterwards. So maybe, yeah, maybe. I don't know. But uh, in order wanting to be having an anchor on it. 1902 so basically that was they was buried it the first one was buried here a year after it being open basically because apparently it was made in 1901 
so but saying that i don't know i mean i've left most of the history of what i could find in the description so but i know they was looking into the land um coffee bug how you doing buddy so yeah guys if you're not on the instagram page please check them out okay uh, all the pictures what i'm taking as we go along here will be on the instagram page okay so look at that one there that's stunning that Ugh, sorry guys i've just had to take you off it for a minute oh there we go i think that'll do look at that that's stunning that is beautiful beautiful work you know look at this one here wow so this will probably be another vault or it will definitely be a tomb but uh look at this one wow when's this 1876 so basically the cemetery must be older then it's got to be hasn't it that is stunning that is incredible i mean just think guys back in the 1800s this was made you know how much attention to detail went in it absolutely stunning and there's one here Look at this one here, full size angel, right there. It's lovely, it's right underneath a tree. Oh, there's some military ones, so what we'll do, we'll go and have a look at the military ones, the Commonwealth ones. There's four what I can see here, there might be more around, but... Yeah, so these are the military ones now, guys, so... The first one on the right is Jay Catterall. Border Regiment, 8th of November 1918 at age 24. The second one is uh, two different regiments. One was artillery and one was the King's Liverpool driver. Um, and the other one was G.H. Warmington, the King's Liverpool Regiment, 26th of May 1922, uh, age 44. So I wonder why, I don't get why they've done that. There's another one there, I, unless they're part of the family, I don't know. Maybe it was a family. So there's this one here. Machine Gun Corps, Infantry. 9th of December, uh, sorry, 9th of November, 1918. And W. Fishwick, uh, Loyal North Lanks Regiment. 3rd of March, 1918. And the other one is Royal... Uh, Defence Corps, 18th of June, 1918. So, yeah. It's such a shame, like... So I'm, I'm wondering if these was, like, family members, if that makes sense. There we go. Got it on wide now. In the double. I don't know. Oh. But I know the Machine Gun Corps, guys. Um... My regiment, the Royal Tank Regiment, was formed from the Machine Gun Corps. So, look at this. Stunning. I mean, you can't think, you can't ask for a more beautiful day to come and explore this place. You know, and we've not even done a, anywhere near a quarter of it yet. It goes all the way down there as well. So, yeah, this is just like the little bit of a top end, if that makes sense. But uh, we're going to have a look at this, at the church, or the chapel, they call it, it's not an actual church. They call them chapels, if you don't know. <coughs> so, we'll see if it's open. I don't know if it will be, but we'll see if it is. Uh, I'll just get a nice picture of that. There we go. I can't even get it on uh, wide angle on on live for some reason. So let's have a look, shall we? No, it's locked, guys. So 
but that's the main door and that's the tower so uh, I'm that hot sweats uh, accumulating at the back of my hat and it's dripping down my neck <laughs> I have brought me a little towel so I'll give me head a wipe I don't know if you can see anything inside but there's oh wow it is abandoned inside it's not even cleaned like but there is still pews in there wow oh it's such a shame I couldn't get in there to have a look because that'll be like untouched it would I mean look at this I mean I don't know if that's um, obviously damage from time or vandals but to say that it's just the head what's come off you know it's uh pretty wrong to do some to someone's grave if it was vandals and you know it's disgusting 1862 so these are some more really old that's obviously been broken off due to weather and that but a lot of them guys a lot of them do get broken off due to vandals and it's wrong you know oh here's another military one here oh there's another so we'll go over to the i don't want to walk in anyone's grave so we'll walk up at the side so yeah um oh wow oh it's all right i thought it was young um P.O. Malia, Royal Artillery, 14th of February 1945, age 43. So he's World War II, him. Eh? And he was a gunner. Yeah, he was World War II when he died. And then the other one's just down here. You've got little white butterflies flying around, which is nice. So this guy here is M Commons, the Irish Guards. Uh, that's the same regiment as me uncle, actually. He was, my uncle was Irish Guards. Uh, seventh, I think, is that? Uh, January 1921, age 28 years old. Wow. So there's two more so so far we found what six and there's 58 of them guys 58 commonwealth soldier graves so uh yeah but um i love how healthy the grass it's because it's england love <laughs> <laughs> a lot of it's gr a majority of the grass over here is green so yeah we've got four people now thank you much appreciated so i'm hoping people are enjoying this video it is something a little bit different um but it's also knowledgeable you get to see old graves where if you're not from the uk you would have never seen before, you know. Um, looks like there's a palm tree up there, a type of palm tree. That's weird. Never seen a palm tree over here unless you've gone to a thing. Now we'll go and have a look at that in a minute. Look at this, right in the centre of like a, a roundabout type of thing. Just here. So, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have a look at this palm tree looking one up here and it's not a headstone it is an actual type of palm tree i mean i could be wrong if anyone knows the trees then let me know so you stop being an idiot tom um but yeah there's two of them oh not three i'm sure that's a type of palm tree and that's odd because i've never seen a type of palm tree like that over here because we don't have palm trees in a way, so you might be able to see them there. 
we don't have palm trees like we do in tropical like they do in tropical countries you know I'm trying to not step on anyone's grave here but yeah look how lovely this is there's a footpath here walking around and there's a bench here so yeah look how lovely that is so is that a type of palm tree does anyone know so it's beautiful absolutely stunning I think it is I think it is type of palm tree but I'm not quite sure which one I don't think it's a coconut one I wouldn't have thought that but uh Looks like a cabbage tree. A cabbage tree? Really? I know I know I've seen them type ones abroad, like in the Philippines, when I was there, but uh, I've never seen them over here. See it goes all the way back there as well guys. It is huge this cemetery. Absolutely huge. Now if anyone wants to see me come back at night time, if I'm up if the gates are still open and I can get in, does anyone want Oh, fair enough wow so yeah if anyone wants to see us let's change arms again guys hang on sorry for the blurred blurred screen then my arms get tired <laughs> I should have got me a holder out to be honest it might might make it a bit easier and more stable I want to see those around love when I get there. Yeah, that's fine, love. No problem. I'll take you to quite a few cemeteries. It's fine. You know, the most ones what I think you'll enjoy, love, is the ones up in Edinburgh, to be honest, because they're a lot older. And they look a lot different as well. They really do. So down here, obviously the back end... So, you know, well, I'm not going to really explain it. You know, new basically not brand new to the point thing but there will probably be new graves being dug because uh thing and now what i'm thinking is you guys might think that's just an open bit of land here right you know you could be right but when um back a long long time ago they had um basically the pauper's graves so what i'm thinking because there's only like a few dotted on there and obviously these here's another military one right here as you can see this guy was 30 years old another royal artillery guy died in 1945 so yeah two sets guys so yeah um I'm presuming all this land is pauper's graves and what happened, what I mean by pauper's graves is people who didn't have any money. So basically they couldn't afford um, a plot like these. Uh, so they all got chucked into like one big pit, if that makes sense. And um, that's what happened unfortunately back then. Um, but obviously they're not allowed because they are marked saying pauper's graves on the cemetery documents then maybe that's why there's nothing on this um, plot and it's the same with here as well it's a mix for people, yeah basically yeah so they don't because I know one of my friends who worked at a funeral home one of his family members was put in a pauper's grave what's the name a cross on even just a wooden cross and they turned him down because it's not just his family member in there it's other people's families in there as well so that's the only bad thing about it here's another one 29 year old no no it's no do with veterans love no and there's another one over here another military headstone what looks like it's part of the guards maybe the Irish guards again oh no the border regiment so here's another one hey Peter Holmes a loving husband and dear father 1916 to 1983 
So, I wonder if that was his dad then. 1939, yeah, probably with his dad. He died in 1939, so that was probably his dad and his been put there, you know, his ashes. So that's nice, you know. But the only people, oh, there's another one. The only people who's allowed to remove these is that show the MOD, even um, cemetery staff are not allowed to touch veteran headstones, military headstones, they're not allowed to touch them. Only the MOD have to give permission to do that. 25 year old here, uh, the Royal Engineers. Hey Tim, how you doing? So what's that, 10 we're on, 11, something like that. So yeah, as you can see, these are the quite newish, newish ones now. And it goes all the way down there as well. Like I said, it is a massive cemetery, this guy's so. When I go and have a look over here, oh, there's two, what I can see. So they are dotted around. They're not been situated in one place. Normally in some cemeteries, they do put all the Commonwealth soldiers in one place, but uh, they haven't done with this one. So Royal Artillery, L Bannister, 23 years old, 1940. And um, another one here. This one's um, leading sick, uh, leading sick birth attendant. Ah, so looking at the sign at the top, that's Royal Navy, or the Merchant Navy. Oh no, it's Royal Navy because he was on the HMS Drake. Wow. 1939. I'm I'll put it on the uh, on the. Um, Instagram as well. I'll mix it so this headstone, this guy here, um, is on the picture with the um, HMS Drake. If I they're mixed um, between both world wars, so the most ones what we see I've seen so far is the World War One, but there is 58 of them here. Here's another one here. Loyal North Lanks, 1915, age 28. So that's a dirty one, that. See, I don't like dirty military headstones. They should keep them clean. And there's one right, that bright white one. That's how they should be. We're gonna have a look at that one now, if we don't see any more down here. So yeah, they're um, mainly World War One round here, but both World Wars, you know. So again, these are recent, like that one just behind the first, like 2017. Um, so yeah, the other one, 1986. It all depends, guys. If you buy the plot, um, you know, that plot's yours then until you die, you know, and then you go into that plot. So that's how it works over here. You don't buy a plot on the day you die. So let's have a look at, oh, there's two over here. Okay, we can have a look at them. So I, that's one thing what I do like looking at guys is um, military headstones, Commonwealth soldiers, because, because they're in the ground, the time's been and gone. People forget about them, you know what I'm saying? And it's not nice, so... Oh, there's another one here. Looks like RAF. Yeah, RAF. 24 years old. Wireless operator, air gunner in the RAF. Jay Smith. And there's another one there, but we'll be walking that way in a minute. We're just gonna have a look at these two. So I do try and read off the names as well because it gives them a mark of respect. Uh, so S. Hayes, see this is how it should be, clean white like this. Now maybe this is a new stone what's been placed there but I doubt it. Um, 23rd of February 1944, age 35 years old, he was in the Royal Army Service Corps. 
So I'm presuming the Royal Army Service Corps, I think, is now known the Royal Logistics Corps. Um, so here's another one, T Furnace. Royal Army Audience Corps, 1942, at age 22. So there's only been a couple where I've noticed, like, they're in the... Th and that was up at the beginning. Uh, we've seen that one, haven't we? Anyway, there's one just there, but we're not going that way now. So, there's another RAF one here. And then we'll go and have a look at the other one around the corner here. So, this one's been lucky. Um, it's an aircraftman, second CL, A.W. Berry. Royal Air Force, 1941, age 34. So yeah, there is... I've lost count on how many we've seen so far. But like I said guys, there is 58, but the thing is, if I don't have a map on where they are, I can't get to them all. Um, but obviously, once if I'm settled down, once I've got a job and stuff like that, um, I might do what I've done in the past, which is on... The Remembrance Day, I'll bring one rose um, to here and I'll place one rose on each military headstone. Because um, like, like this one, you know, possibly no one's alive anymore or if they do have family members, you know, they don't know that they're here. Uh, J, uh, J Williams, Royal Army Ordnance Corps, um, airborne, he was. 8th of May 1944, aged 20 years old. Wow. So, yeah, I will. I mean, there's got to be more down there. There's got to be. I mean, it's huge, this cemetery, guys. Absolutely huge. And I physically can't get round it all. You know, I just physically can't do it. Uh, so let's catch up on chat. Sorry. Uh, oh, I can see someone walking. Must be cleaning. No, they, yeah, they must be at the family grave, love. Um, putting flowers down. That's what people do, you know. They come put flowers down on the graves. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can't see it at the end. And it just goes all the way down there as well. It's a huge, huge cemetery. Now, all the, we'll walk up here and then we'll walk along. Uh, now, all the churches in Chorley, the, some of them used to have cemeteries. Like, for example, my auntie's St. Lawrence's. Uh, and they moved all the graves over to here. Um, so now the churches in Chorley, they don't have graveyards. They all, they all came here. So maybe that the cemetery was built in 1901 and that's probably what it was talking about so they got moved maybe that's the more realistic side um, to look at really um, for the safety of their land exactly uh, please go over to the Dragon Lady Philippines, subscribe to her channel, show some love guys. Yes, please do guys. Uh, in case you don't know, you're brand new to the channel. This is a joint channel, okay? The Dragon Lady Philippines is my beautiful fiance. I also call wifey. So if you ever hear me uh, resulting in wifey or seeing me type wifey, then you know who I'm talking about, okay? So please obviously head over to her channel, show some love once, obviously. Um, because that's where she lives guys at the moment so if you're interested in that type of thing I'm pretty sure you she won't disappoint you um, <coughs> it's a big cemetery it's massive mate absolutely massive uh, a lot of empty space for people this is the thing though love I don't think they are empty I think they are paupers graves so it, it looks empty but it's not um, should we go up here? No, we'll go this way. Um, you can be tired if you walk all the way around. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm knackered now. Yeah, you know, and I've not even done half of the cemetery. 
you know i've not even done half of it i'm trying to look out for a bench right now um share and hit the like button please cheers guys cheers tim so yeah that's that's an old one look at that the headstones nearly disappeared into the floor it sank that much what's the oldest date you've seen so far um 18 1821 was it i can't remember it's definitely in the 1800s um let's have a look at these ones in case you can't even 1872 is the first one for that um 1915 uh, what's this one? You can't even read that. It's literally dissolved away vir virtually. You know, there's no... Normally when you get down, you can see it a little bit more, but... I think it's 50... I think it's 51 years. That's definitely 51 years. Um, that's 55 years. So yeah, this is the thing with actual stone. The older they are sometimes, especially being under trees, you know, uh, they do erode away, unfortunately. Uh, there's 1868, uh, 1839. Oh no, sorry, that's born. Died 1877. Um, so not that old really uh, And this one 1923 Whew, I need to sit down I know that I'm Starting to get nappy rash now and I've got all the all the way to walk back as well Look at this one here guys Looks like logs. How beautiful is that? That's stunning. Looks like logs. You know, I've, I've, I said before I'm going to get my uh, phone stand out. I still haven't done it. There's nothing. People think this is morbid doing this, like going around cemeteries. And, I don't. I find it peaceful. I find them very relaxing. Look at this one here. Wow. Stunning. And there's another tomb. Right there. Oh. There's a nice bit of shade there. So we're back at the main road bit now. Look at this one, a big tomb, big family plot. Right here, 1884. Another family tomb here, which again is stunning. You know, look at this one here. Wow. So yeah, like I said, all the um, pictures, what I do, what I am taking, they will be on the uh, Instagram page, guys. So if you've not joined the Instagram page, head over. You've got to apply. And the reason why that is, is because I'm stopping a lot of idiots joining, trying to wreck mine and the missus um, in the description. So if you've not joined guys, please do so. Okay. Um, here's another one. Big anchor. Right there. And a few down there. So what I'm going to do guys, because I'm absolutely roasting, I'm going to find somewhere nice and quiet in the shade, because it's absolutely roasting. And uh, I'll sit down and talk to y'all, catch up with y'all, because I've not done that yet. I've just shown you around this place. Um, well, 
saying I've shown you about. Look at this one here. This is huge. It's like the um, thingy in America. What is it? The President's Memorial type thing. Wow. In memory of John Gillibrand of this town who died in at Blackpool, uh, sorry, Blackburn on 23rd and was interred here on the 29th of May 1861 at age 69. Also Elizabeth Dorser of the above John Gillibrand who died April 1st 1865 at age 43. Wow. So yeah, we're gonna gonna try and find somewhere a bit of shade now because I really do need to wipe my head. So guys, if you didn't see the beginning of the video, we did walk around through this bit. So if you want to uh, check that out, all right, uh, then please do so. Uh, I think this will be a nice little bit here, to be fair. Take me bag off. Um, there's no seat in anywhere. That's the only problem. So, right. Oh, take me bag off. Oh, and uh, have a seat. Oh, Jesus. I am so hot. Oh. Um, I'm going to get my drinks out. Because I'm dripping and I need a drink. So I don't dehydrate. Because yesterday, I got really hot yesterday and I'm covered in sweat again I wish I didn't use this colour t-shirt look at look at my t-shirt <laughs> so yeah I wish I didn't use this colour t-shirt but never mind oh it's a good job I did uh, cut my hair yesterday as well I don't look like a friggin um, thingy now oh dear so I'll just sit here for a bit till I've cooled down, you know. So we didn't see, we've seen quite a few um, military headstones, but it wasn't many. Um, but like I said, they'll be dotted around and it's that, it's that big this place, you know, uh, you, you physically can't get it round or get round all of the headstones, you know. When I was walking down, I know what they look like because they all look the same. So the ones what I did see, I went over to. Um, but you physically can't get round to every single one, you know. Um, right, let's get me stand out while I'm here. So I can chat to you guys properly. So let's just put you in here for a minute. There we go. Right, and let's prop you here. There we go. Look at that, guys. I'm bald. A lot better, though. Since I've took my hat off, cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Yeah, uh, got me drink. Hey, love, it's the bottled water from the hotel. <laughs> Just put some juice in. I've got four of them. that's one gone oh, always drink uh, do you think you can get a paranormal um yeah I don't see why not you know um, big shout out to the groundsman in the cemetery looks clean tidy yeah it is it is it's beautiful it really is it's well looked after uh, I wonder if there is younger babies like in the Philippines there will be um, probably a child plot, a baby plot, um, somewhere. It will probably be down at the bottom end. Um, but every cemetery I've been to so far, um, they normally have children and baby plots, yeah. Um, wow, agreed, Tim, huge shout out for the maintaining. It's actually the council what do it. 
council maintain the grounds. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, bet you cousin, bet you cousin do a paranormal video there. Cousin? I'm a cousin do a paranormal here. Yeah. I'm gonna have a ciggy though. Yeah. This, I'm gonna run through the things what you should take on an explore what is key whether it's in summer or winter you should always take so the first list is always take cigarettes if you smoke obviously at least one or two packets just in case anything happens and you get stuck you you don't want to be running out of cigs okay I ain't got that problem today, so I've just got my pack. Okay. Two, bring plenty of drink, whether it's in the winter or summer. It's pretty self explanatory, guys. All right. You don't know how long you're going to be waiting for, and if you have to climb, you're going to be sweating. You know, uh, even in winter, um, you're going to be sweating. You want to replace them fluids, guys. Okay. So make sure you bring plenty. Bring snacks because again if you're out for a long time you might get a bit hungry if you need that boost best thing is about chocolate or something sweet okay bring that um, and four bring power banks just in case your phone start dying you need to contact someone they're all like self explanatory guys but you'd be surprised just how many people don't actually do it right and five now, you can bring it, it's up to you. But for me, if you're going to a location what's out of nowhere, middle of nowhere, right? Miles away from anything like a garage or a pub or whatever, right? Take toilet roll. Because if you need to go to the toilet, you can dig a little hole using a branch or whatever's around you. Do your business, wipe your ass, put it in the hole, fill it back in. Done. You know, I don't always take toilet roll with me, um, but if I know I'm going to somewhere like out in the open, it sounds like you got to take it. Right? I'd rather wipe my ass with toilet roll than wipe my ass after needing the shit really, really badly. Right? With leaves, you know, and always take a little tub of um, alcohol or gel, so you can clean your hands afterwards. Uh, it makes me well with all the stone. Yeah, I I mean They don't make headphones like they used to this is why I love going around Cemeteries as well because you see all the old type of headstones um, And you know, it's like the angels, you know, you hardly see them anymore over here and the, the big big ones like these around here you don't see them much anymore uh, watching other people that visit cemeteries, they shine a torch from the side uh, to help show up any lettering. Yeah, but the thing is, some of them are that flat now due to the weather. Um, you should have. Uh, some cemetery can can't see what's on gravestone heads. Yeah, exactly. Are the taller stones engraved with multiple names more than one? But yeah, yeah, they were normally family plots, the uh, bigger ones. Uh, so you have the whole family there, really. Um, 1884, well, yeah. Um, it's also nice for the people buried there. Too many would not have had people stop by them for some time. Exactly, exactly. Um, an obsolete seven likes and chat. Cheers, guys. Uh, Betty was a Freemason. Uh, I'm so behind right now. <laughs> I wonder if there's any ghosts in this uh, in this moment. So beautiful. Yeah, just relax for a bit. You, uh, and did you bring a drink? Yeah, I brought plenty, love. Uh, that's awesome. Cemetery kept uh, kept up well. Uh, make sure you don't sit on anyone else anyone's head. No, I'm on a bit where there's no graves here, so 
rest in peace to all buried in the cemetery uh, what a history for these people um, what time is it there 1 p.m. Um, I think so yeah it's quarter past one now um, oh so it's separate uh, to the adult yeah well yeah unless obviously it's a family um, then they normally put in with the families or especially the older times like the early 1900s they always put them in the same same grave but uh, say if it's a recent um, death um, they normally have and they've died before the parents for example um, then yeah they put them in the I mean cannot cause in or oh, cause it okay uh, still not found out where the headstone in my yard really belongs. Don't know if I will ever find out. Hardest thing with it is has no name, so can't trace a family. Oh dear. Um, power bank's good idea, exactly. Um, so would you be able to try maybe do a paranormal in this? Uh, yeah, you can do paranormal whenever, really. No, you can do it whenever. You know, if it's paranormal, it's paranormal. You don't have to wait till night time, really. Uh, oh, nature calls, exactly. Um, Danny. Is Danny in chat? Have I just missed him? Oh, oh I know what you mean. Yeah, uh, yeah, when Danny said that. Uh, Got to get ready for work, too. Bye. All right, Tim. See you later, matey. Um... Bye Dragon Lady, be safe. Bye Tim, have a great day at work. Thank you, hope you have a great day. Bye all in chat. Cheers Tim. Uh, Gary Newman, how you doing buddy? Sorry guys, I've been so far behind. So far behind. So, Cheers mate for coming in. Uh, Pico Fotter, how you doing? Um, please hit the like button and share around guys. Um, so yeah, there, there, is, there is a lot over here. You know, there's a lot. Uh, a lot of history, you know, every single person who's buried in this cemetery has had a story to tell, you know, and um, yeah, I would rather, sounds morbid, but I would rather sit in a cemetery than I would in, in just a normal park, I really would because it's so peaceful. You know, it really is. I mean, yeah, you're surrounded by the dead, but it doesn't bother me. You know, I would literally, I would really rather um, sit in the cemetery. I really would. So, I've got to bring this hat out. It's so wet. <laughs> but it's not bad because when you leave it, right, it cools it down, the water. So, it's nice and cool when it goes back on your head again. <clears throat> so, but yeah, got my little towel. I'm actually all right now. I've stopped sweating now. I've cooled down a bit. But uh, it's carrying that bag as well. I mean, from where I'm stopping, it's about at least a good mile and a half away. You know, at least. And uh, I've got nothing but hill going up when I go back. So I'm not looking forward to it. Um. I would, I would too. So quiet, no crazy people running. Exactly, exactly. You know, um, they are peaceful. The general feeling is very neutral energy in a cemetery, in my opinion. Totally agree with you. Yeah. You know, it's it's nice. I mean, I would sit on a bench, but the thing is, all the benches what I've seen so far has been in the sun. And I want to. I'm ginger, guys. All right. I need to stay out the sun. So, but maybe if you want, if we can get to, oh, let me move up a bit. Oh, there we go. If we can get ten people in chat, I'll do a spirit box right here, right now, and see if anyone comes through. But I want ten people in chat for that, guys. Okay. So if we can get ten people in chat. We'll do a spirit box.
so make sure you like and share to help it get around YouTube all right um, I'm also going to go through my moderators at some point guys um, and get rid of some um, because there's quite a few moderators who I had moderators in um, the Philippines and it's basically the reverse of what happened to me when I went out to the Philippines everyone just disowned me and since I've been back everyone's disowned me so um, basically I'm going to go through all my moderators get rid of the ones what I don't think um, is marching like they're not watching my content anymore they're not going to the dragon lady anymore uh, and they're not coming to the lives anymore I understand people have uh, real lives to do but you know it's it's like videos and lives always stay up so if you can't be bothered re-watching them then I'm not I'm not gonna keep you blue uh, that's the only reason you'll get blue on this guys and then when we do go live again if I see anybody who's worth it who keeps coming and supporting both channels not just this one it's got to be the dragon lady as well guys they will get a blue as well okay so if you want that blue make sure you obviously uh, keep coming back keep showing the support on both channels okay so but yeah so it's a nice peaceful area lovely But, um, yeah, so if you obviously, like I said, guys, I, when I get back to there, I'm going to be going through the moderators and take people off who I don't see anymore, basically. Um, I'm not, I'm not bothering, wasting my time keeping them on. Now, if they want to start coming back and they want to start, start showing the support on both channels again then they can earn that blue back again but I've had I've had people in the past who was moderators and I've never seen them I took them off you know um, it's not worth not worth keeping them on because it doesn't do your analytics very good either to be honest having so many moderators you know um, a couple of people over there just looking around the headstones as well so Maybe they're just coming in to look around the headstones too, like I've done. So, they're not filming, so they're not uh, doing anything like that. They're just looking around. Um. <clears throat> So let's catch up again. Oh, I love that. Come on, guys, let's do this. Side Tom and MJ. How you doing, Barry? Cheers, mate, for coming in. Um, the creme next door to me has load of war graves uncapped, which is a shame. I know, that, well, this is the thing, isn't it? Luke White, how you doing, buddy? Cheers, mate, for coming in. Sorry, guys, my chat weren't going through for some reason, so it's gone through. Um, we know Barry and Luke are safe. Yeah, we know Barry and Luke are safe. Yeah, they they they're fine. Um, and so is obviously the missus. I'm never gonna uh, do do uh, you know. But um, I'm talking about people who used to be loyal to both channels, and they're not anymore. And like I said, guys, if you're loyal to this channel, and you're loyal to the Dragon Lady Philippines, which is the missus channel, you know. You watch the videos, you watch the lives whenever you can. Obviously, like I, like I said, I understand that people have real life issues and work and stuff like that. But the lives are always up, guys. So if you can't be bothered going back to them, you know, I never take a live down unless it was like not worth keeping up. And I never take a video down unless I need to for a reason. You know, I never take anything down. So it's not really an excuse saying, oh, um, do this, do that. It's, like, it's not really any excuse because when you have got free time, you could go over then and show the support. 
But uh, like I said, guys, uh, there, there is quite a few people who's safe, don't get me wrong. Obviously, the missus, Barry, uh, Luke, they're safe. You know, for 100%, they're safe. Um, I can't remember who else is safe, but there, there is a couple who's safe, all right? So I won't worry about it too much. But um, it is only a, a, few, a very minor few who I'm going to be taking off. So, uh, yeah, well, don't, Gary, honestly, don't worry about it. I, I don't want people mistaking that I want people coming all the time, you know? I'm not asking that, right? All I'm asking for is whenever you've got a bit of time, whenever, um, thing it, because I do try and go lives. I mean, today wasn't even planned, the live. Normally, I announce it on Facebook day before or on the channel community day before. This was just a last minute thing, you know? But, uh, yeah, I'm not saying, obviously, people's got to come to the lives every time I go live. What I'm saying is, is, obviously, um, when people, because they never get taken down, when people do have that five minutes, just pop over, you know, give us a view. Um, because it's the views what helps, guys. It's not the thumbs down, it's not the thumbs up, it's the views. You know, it's that what helps. So even if you just come pop over, give us a view, I'm happy, you know? That's all I'm after is that view. And this is what I've been saying, like, um, for the Dragon Ladies channel, you know? Um, if you can ri run her playlist, which is the top playlist in the playlist tab, uh, run her videos through every night, uh, all of them, it helps with her watch time and that's what she's trying to fight for right now is um, watch time oh 12 people right spirit box it is then huh so we've got to that point now guys i keep to me promises let's get it out then and let's see if anything happens so here it is guys <clears throat> it should I'm going to put this bottle back in so I'll end up forgetting about it otherwise. It should have plenty of battery in because it's a brand new battery in I think. So let's have a look shall we. Let's, let's see what comes through. So I need to set it up. Alright guys, so, here we go. So if there's anybody in this cemetery now who wants to come and speak to us, please come and speak to us through this device we've got. Does anyone want to come forward? Don't be shy. Use the energy through this device and any other device we've got. Does anyone want to say anything? Come forward, please. We don't mean you any disrespect. We don't mean you any harm. We just want to have a casual conversation with you.
Any of the soldiers want to come forward? Thomas Field, do you want to come and talk to us? Richard Cotton? Mm. A few things got put through, but... Can you tell me your name, please? Can you tell me your name? <laughs> Can you tell me whereabouts in the cemetery you are buried? Which section? Are you in section A? Say yes. If you're not in section A, can you tell me no? Is there anything you want to say? I know I thought that coffee bug, to be honest. Come forward please, Phil. This is your chance to say anything you want. I know it's been many, many years since you've had a conversation with anyone. And you probably don't know how to do it, and all you've got to do is take the energy. Do spirits have Wi-Fi? No, Gary. Come on, say anything you like. Anything at all. Three, okay. Is any of the three spirits who's around? Can you tell me your name, please? Don't be shy. I'm not here to cause disrespect. I'm not here to cause harm. I'm, give, I'm just here to give you an opportunity to talk to us, to get a message out.
He's still here, Spirit. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say to anyone in chat? On my device, right in front of me. Do you want to say hello to people? They're all coming to hear you. Was you a soldier in the world wars? Are you one of the soldiers what's buried not far from where I'm sat? Nothing's really coming through now, guys. If any of you want to want me to ask something for you, then let us know in the comments. Spirit, I'm going to finish this in a minute. Do you want to say anything before we go? <clears throat> Do you want a cigarette? Did you smoke? I've got plenty here if you want one. Just say yes. That's all you want. Yeah, coffee, I'm going to try that in a bit. Okay, thank you, Spirit, if you did contact us. Hopefully you can talk to us a little bit later on. Bye now. So, guys, we didn't really get anything, though. Uh, we've got a couple of words, but... Um, nothing to say, I could say that it was paranormal. Um, what I'm going to do is what Coffee Bug said, then um, I'm going to have a walk down to where the military headstones are and I'm going to see if uh, we can contact any of them. Now, this is the thing, not every cemetery is haunted, so we might not get nothing, you know, but it's one of them things where if you don't try, you don't know. No, so but we're gonna gonna head down there now so I'll just put this back in my bag because I can't carry everything it's literally only just down the way guys so literally 30 seconds and we'll be there and we'll make sure there's no flies or bugs in me yet Oh, that's nice and cool on my head. So, right. Oh, my sunglasses is broke. Oh well. Don't know how that's happened, but never mind. Uh, I don't know if I've got any more because the other ones what I did have in the Philippines broke in my bag on the way over here. So, I don't know if I've got any more, but hang on, guys. Oh dear.
There we go. Right, just get me back. There we go. Right, so what do you reckon? Should we try the tomb over there or should we try the military headstones? You let us know and we'll head there. Which ones do you want to do? Uh, you still have one more in here, I think. What, in Philippines? Well, they're no good in Philippines, are they, love? <laughs> I don't know, I thought I brought them all. But I might have put it in the other suitcase, which I had to leave behind. Right, we'll go down to the military headstones. So, see, they were just there, some graves, so... So yeah, grab that link up, what Barry's just put in, the uh, Instagram link, okay, that's where all the pictures will be getting put on. I will put them on later on today. Uh, I'm quite surprised how long this last, uh, this live has lasted, to be honest, because I didn't think I, I don't think I've got much internet left, to be honest. So we'll do a quick one here, and then, yeah, we'll start heading back, guys. Alright. Oh, that's an interesting one just over there. I'm going to have a look at that first. Because the military ones are just in front of me now. But let's go and have a look at this one, guys. Hang on. Yes, you still have one, I think. What, over here with me, love, or in the Philippines? So, yeah. Now this used to be like, the rich of the rich used to be able to afford bars round, basically. 1863, age 26 years old. William Heald, is that? Yeah. 1861, is that? Age 28, 1800, there, so that's the earliest one so far. Aged one and eight months. One year's eight months, plus. So yeah, I don't think I'll do a spirit box down here there's people about, I don't want people getting the wrong idea. So that's 26 years old, 28 years old, and one year and eight months. What a shame. 1800. He's buried here. Now, you don't see this very often, the bars. And that's because... Um, back in the world wars, they used to go round special cemeteries. That's why not many cemeteries have um, thingies around anymore. Um, fencing, like metal fencing, the original metal fencing anymore. And that is because back in the world wars, what they used to do is come around cemeteries, take up all the metal um, for making weapons and um, vehicles and stuff like that, you see. So. That's why you don't see it very often anymore. That'd be a nice picture right there. There we go. Oh. So, yeah, we won't do that because there is a couple of people over there. I don't want them getting the wrong idea what we're trying to do. So, that's what you got to do, guys, unfortunately. You do get some people like that. But what we can do is try down here. I'm trying to not step on any graves right now. There was one what's not marked and I literally nearly fell. The vampire never dies. <laughs> no, they're definitely not vampires, guys. You'll see in Edinburgh's uh, cemeteries where you've got cages. The actual meaning behind it was to stop grave diggers robbing the graves. And, uh, yeah, I think this will be an all right area, actually. What do you reckon? Here? Do a quick one here before we go. There's some here. Look at this. 1890. 
What do you reckon about here, guys? Should we do one here? It's out of the sun. I don't really want to be in the sun, you see. It's too hot to sit around in the sun. Or should we just come back another day and do another video? What do you want to do, guys? Another video, another day? Like a full-blown paranormal? Or do it now? What should we do? You let us know and we'll get it done. Uh, I've been to Mary Shelley Grave. Oh, really? Okay. Nice. So, yeah. Um, See, so this one looks like it's been moved. Look. I don't think that was in its that's in its original space. It looks like it's just been moved and plonked there. But uh, I could be wrong because these old old cemeteries, you know, they they just get plonked anyway. I mean, look, they're all going up at an angle, so it could be original to that area. Um, and then obviously that one got put put here. So. Uh, Yeah, I think I think guys what we're gonna do is we'll have a look round here. We'll go at the other side of the cemetery and we'll have a look up there. Alright. <clears throat> and then if we don't get nothing, then uh we'll call it the end. Because we've been live for an hour an hour and thirty-three now. So not bad concern I've had to walk it here. You know. Oh, there's another one here. Right there. So this one's RAF again. Um, age 19. This guy, 1942. Jay Wignall. So... Yeah, we'll do something here, actually. So... We'll uh, just set up here. We'll have a seat just here. So just bear with us, guys, while I get me stuff, let me thingy out. So we're right on road here, so. Right on road again. There we go. Alright, so we're in shed and we've got two graves here. One's going back to 1897 and one is a military headstone. So we'll have a look. Oh, there's a little squirrel there. Little squirrel! Little baby squirrel. So, let's see what we can get here. Like I said guys, if there's no joy on this one then uh, we'll end it. Um, we'll have back. Uh, right, sweet right. Uh, brother Seamus, how you there? How you doing, buddy? So, Jay Wignall, hello. We've come here to talk to you. If you want to say anything, just use this box in front of us. And, uh, So if there's anything you want to say, Elizabeth Tanner, Robert Ackers, 
Hilda, Mary Elizabeth. Any of you want to come forward, please do so. We mean your utmost respect. Jay Wignall. He was in the Air Force. Royal Air Force. Can you come forward? The car just coming past, guys, so... Hey Rachel, how you doing? Can you guys hear that? Don't turn it up. There we go. Hey Wignall, do you want to come forward and talk to us, mate? I'm going to leave your message. There's another car coming down, guys. This is the only car we'll be on the road. I don't want people thinking we're doing disrespectful things for the... You know, we're not here to disrespect anyone. We're not here to do anything like that. If there's anyone here, anyone who's you sat in front of, or anyone around, you want to come forward and say hello. This is the energy from us, from the camera, from the equipment. What about that said no then? Jay Woodnall, did you say hi there? Can you tell me your name so we know who we're talking to? We don't mean you any disrespect, we just want to talk to you. A conversation you've probably not had for a very long time. Guys, if you do catch anything, please screenshot it and send it to us on uh, Facebook. Put it on the Facebook group. If you see anything, what you think is something, please let us know in the Facebook group, okay? is like what we've got but all you've got to do is talk and we will be able to hear you through this device
Okay, goodbye now. So, yeah, there you go. Um, doesn't seem to be that active, to be honest. So, I'll just place you there for a minute while I put this away. Um, so, yeah, I don't think they, would, they don't want to talk, which is fine, you know. You can't make spirit do what they don't want to do. Now, I do know my friend's buried in this cemetery who died when I was at school, called Chris Ormisher, but I don't know where his grave's at. I can't remember where his grave's at. I do remember I came and seen his grave many, many years ago now, but I just can't remember where it's at now. I do remember we went right that way and down, but... Oh! oh. But I don't know. It's not definitely not at top end because the top end is um, all the older graves. So actually, I'm going to take my phone out and then walk back with my phone out. So give us a minute, guys. Okay. Is Barry still in chat by by any chance? Place you down there. Oh, there you are, Barry. Uh, I've not seen your message yet, mate. But is it regarding the merch by any chance? Oh God, nearly fell. All right, okay. I'll I'll check it out after then, mate. Right, so I did have eighty odd percent. Uh, on my phone before I set out and like I said it was a last minute thing this but uh, now I've got it's just flashed up saying 20% so my batteries uh, yeah so I just don't know where to look like for my friends he could have been, he could be up here, he could be at the top end. I don't know. I have no clue. Back in the sun there. So uh yeah. When my phone gets to about ten percent um when I get to about ten percent I think on the phone then I'll end it and uh yeah so I'll have a little bit to walk yeah Whew. so yeah beautiful cemetery just one last look round here as you can see look at that There you go, and this one here, we didn't get before. So yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, hang on, I'm gonna end it now guys, because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some more photos for Instagram. All right, so if you've not already done so, please hit that like button on the way out, okay? Uh, I'm gonna eat dragon fruit after. No worries, love, no worries. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna obviously end it now, okay? Um, smash that thumbs up on the way out if you haven't already done so, please. And obviously, again, we'll try and not make it as long, but hopefully we'll be getting out at some point this week uh, in order to do um, a Redortica, if that's how you say it, sorry, um, video. Uh, so yeah, it was something new, guys. And um, so yeah, smash the like button on the way out guys, much appreciated, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for joining us, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the Dragon Lady Philippines. She is my wife, this is a joint channel, please show support over there. Okay guys, stay safe, stay creepy, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye guys.